alamo.zoom.us. If you don't have an account, you can create one. Be sure to use your alamo.edu account so you can get a pro account. I'm going to sign in with the account I already have. I'm going to host the meeting. I'm going to leave video off because I don't need video. I'm just recording my screen. And notice that it's downloading Zoom here. I'm going to run the file. And now I'm ready to start. I'm going to join with computer audio. So the audio is joined. So over here on the bottom left, you want to choose which audio. If you're using, now right now I'm using the internal microphone, but if you're using something like a, a mic or a transmitter that's plugged in, you'll look for that for your input here. And then speaker, you can have, if you're using sound at all, and that your audience will hear, it could come out of the speaker in the computer or out of the speaker in the smart board here. And let's do a share screen. So if you're using Word or PowerPoint, you want to record the screen, just tell it screen to record the entire screen. But let's test using the whiteboard. Let's see if we can write on the whiteboard the same way we wrote in PowerPoint and Word. We're going to tap whiteboard, click share, and I'm going to tap draw and choose the squiggly line for like a freeform draw. And then I'm going to pick up the pen and see if it'll let me write on the smart board. And it does. So I'm writing on the smart board and it's showing up on the computer. And it also lets me save this as a picture if I want to save it for later. So if I want to erase, I need to tap eraser here so that changes um, my feature to erase. And then I should be able to. And now I can use the eraser on my hand to erase. If I want to start back writing again, then I need to press the draw. And note, I can do other things besides just the squiggly line. I can enter text, etc. Now, what if I want to save this for later? Whether you're using the whiteboard or PowerPoint or Word, just hover your mouse up here at the top, click more. Then notice you have two choices, record to computer, record to cloud. If you're using a free account, your only option is record to the computer. Alamo.edu employees can record to the cloud. I recommend that. So you'll record to the cloud. So now everything I do is being recorded. Testing, testing, testing. Now you'll need this menu here as you use the whiteboard, but you can left click and drag to move the menu around, move it out of your way. You can put it at the bottom here if you like. You could also click the X to get rid of it completely, but once you do that, then you, then you won't have the drawing capability anymore, but you can bring it back by hovering at the top bringing back the Zoom menu and tapping whiteboard again, and then you get the menu back. Let's see what this feature is on the bottom right. Looks like you can add a page here. Yeah, that's what that, so on the bottom right here, if you tap that, it adds, a, notice I'm on page two now. So we'll go back and there's page one. So if you fill this page up, you can leave everything there and then tap the little arrow here. Go to page two and you can fill that page up and then click plus and go to and notice that you're now in page three. When you're done sharing, you could click stop share. And notice this is how you can tell you're recording. Notice the little and you can tell you're recording the cloud in this green area here. Notice there's a little red dot inside the little green cloud. Or if you want to end the meeting, that will automatically stop the recording. Close this. I'm going to hover up here again. So notice you can pause recording. You can stop recording. You can chat. But I'm going to go ahead and end meeting. And end meeting for all. If you just leave the meeting, that means if there's other participants live or something like that, then they'll still be there. I'm going to end meeting for all. And now it'll take a little while for your recording to show up, but you'll get an email when the meeting recording is done. So first you'll get an email letting you know, letting you know that the cloud recording is done. You'll get one for your view and one link that you can share with your audience. And then later on, it might take an hour or more. You'll get another email saying that the auto transcript is ready. And then you could see 
how Zoom automatically transcribed anything it heard in the recording. 